Level Showcase. Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. I have a level showcase for you today called Mario in the Tower of Water. Let's start it up. It's one of the best water levels I've ever played. I think the design is just great. It's fun. It's not overly challenging like some water levels are. I think people get carried away with water levels and that's why a lot of people don't like them. This one's just very traditional, very awesome looking, and just a great time. Eat this Koopa. Fit him down here. The pink coins I learned were are actually optional for this, so you don't have to get them all. Actually, I only got five of them last time out of the six, so maybe this time I'll get to see what actually you get. That's one way through, just take the hit, hop on Yoshi, and swim up. I kind of want that mushroom, Yosh. I know you're hungry, but I need that thing. There we go. As you can see already, though, the design of the level, it's laid out very nice. It looks really cool. The way he uses the semi-solids and stuff, it just looks great. Once those shoot there, we can swim up through here. Big Bomb takes out the bricks for us. We can also throw the shell there and get through if we want to. You get to use Yoshi a lot in this level, which is very fun as well. I always like when they use Yoshi really well in courses, because sometimes people just throw them in, they don't really think much about it. But in this level in particular, it works really great. I love these stairs that he's made with the coins going down the railing. I think that looks really cool. The little windows that show you outside are really neat. All right, we got two coins, four to go. In this section, we end up outside once again in the tower. The only way to get up here is to break through these bricks. And if you're worried about losing Yoshi, you actually have a chance to get him back right here. That way we get through the door with Yoshi. And you can save him once again here if you jump just in time. I jumped a little bit early, but we can get it. Yeah, we saved Yoshi. Here we hit another checkpoint. We got more of these really cool stairs. I love the way he laid out the stairs. It just looks great. This one I had a little trouble getting without getting crushed here. It's a little tricky. That time I did a little better, but it almost seems like it's timed a little bit too tight there. I wish that wasn't quite so dramatic because the rest of the level is pretty laid back. Just a little hard to get in there without getting hit. I love how he's got these cheap cheeps laid out too. They swim back and forth just at the right time. It just looks great. Creates a nice little obstacle. All right, there's the coin I missed last time. I just didn't see it. I saw the jet engines and I thought, nope, I'm out of here. There we go. So we'll get all the coins this time. So we'll get to see what the bonus room has. All these sections just are really fun. I like this little platforming section. It's actually really easy. You don't really have any chance hitting the spikes as long as you stay still. But it gives it that traditional Mario feel. Once again here, the platform comes down just in time for you to jump on it. It's like everything's timed out and well thought out here. We got all the coins, so we did get the key this time. Let's find out what's in the bonus room. Ooh, the bonus room. <laughs> it's a unique way to get a bunch of one-ups. We just hit a bunch of Goombas with a superstar. Ooh, and we get to take out Bowser Jr. with one hit. Before, there was a little bit of a boss battle here. It wasn't anything that challenging, but it's cool that you're rewarded for finding all the coins by not having to fight Bowser Jr. there. Definitely cool. Now that we have the clown car and the key, we can just bust through here and finish up the level. We didn't have to lose Yoshi at all either, which is cool.
And here's another little secret. You jump over the flagpole. You can enter this pipe. And for whatever reason, you get a superstar. This could possibly be a remake of a level that I'm just not aware of. But even despite of that, the level is just awesome. If you like water levels, check this one out. And if you don't like water levels, I still recommend checking it out. This one might be able to change your mind. It's just really fun. Great time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Till next time, I'll see you around.